During the World Economic Forum or WEF, President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. said the country welcomes any assistance to improve the government's digitalization efforts. In line with this, the Department of Information and Communications Technology or DICT said it is already planning out several programs in adherence to boosting the digital infrastructure in the country. According to the agency, it already signed a memorandum of agreement with Singapore and China to help with the country's digitalization. The country is also in talks with Japan, United States, and other ASEAN countries. Marami na po tayong um, kinausap. The technology we need um, is not yet in the country. So um, it's really, uh, we have to share um, resources, um, we have to share experiences, we have to share knowledge. The DICT is also eyeing more programs, including a super government application. According to the DICT, the super government app aims to streamline all government services for bureaucratic efficiency. Another app that is called the ILGU or the Integrated Local Government Unit System is available for easier transactions with the local government. Kung kailangan po nila business permit, kumuha ng clearance, real property tax, business tax, civil registry, at iba pang permit, um, yan po yung gusto nating i-roll out. There are currently 25 cities and municipalities implementing the ILGU. The agency also aims to improve connectivity, especially in remote areas, and develop a better cybersecurity system for the country. Meanwhile, the House of Representatives will prioritize measures in adherence to President Marcus' plan to boost digitalization in the Philippines. According to House Speaker Martin Romualdez, establishing a framework for digital transformation will help in enhancing the prospect of the Philippines as an investment hub. Several priority measures include e-government and e-governance act. Eileen Cerudo, UNTV News and Rescue. We serve the people. We give glory to God.